The new Odin weapons light from Olite. Let's check it out. Olight's been putting out really high quality lights for over 10 years. In fact, I carry a Olight as my EDC every day for the past eight years. And they're just good, solid quality lights. They really are the top tier in technology uh, with their charging systems that are magnetic. And then of course they have a number of weapons lights with a PL Mini 2, which fits any handgun accessory rail out on the market, no matter how small. And then also their PL2 Valkyrie, uh, which is an incredible weapons light up to 1200 lumens and their ball door which has a laser with the pl2 but now they have introduced their odin and this is a dedicated rifle light what's really cool about this light is that it's 2000 lumens and it's 300 meters of throw but it fits any of your surefire scout mounts It's compatible with your your scout mounts which gives you a lot of options and they're also offering a limited edition desert sand color. Guys, we have done a 3,000 round torture test with these lights. And not even a flicker. These lights are solid. And you get a 10% discount using Suit00 with the link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link and we really appreciate Olight for sending these lights for this test and evaluation. All right, here we have the Odin. Again, it is 2,000 lumens, uh, which is 22,500 candela. And then we have 300 meter throw, and you have a PMMA optical lens. And we'll take a look. You'll get to see that when we take it outside. Uh, this is a has a 5,000 milliamp battery. Uh, and this really allows it to get that high lumen count for a long run time. It is one of the 21700 rechargeable batteries. And this is a really solid lighting system. Of course, you know, Olight has really done a great job of just going with state of the art. Now, you do have your charging cable, and it's just magnetic. It'll go to the back, and then you plug this into any USB, and then it comes up red until it's fully charged, and it'll be green. And, of course, you can leave this on your rifle uh, while you recharge it. The mount is really exceptional. Uh, it's a very versatile mount and you can see the slot and so you just take it and push it in. It locks it into place and this is your quick release button so you can just push it and it comes out. Here you have unlock and lock. We can just turn it and it's solidified into the mount. And guys, it is solid in this mount. Then when you want to release it, just push and it unlocks it. And then we have this top side. So we can come in this way as well. Now we're locked in and uh, it's just not going anywhere. And then you can also lock it on the top as well. Now this mounting system is compatible with any scout mounting system. And there are a lot of options out there. Uh, here is the Surefire Scout and uh, it does have the Picatinny rail, but you take this off and it has something similar to these this pattern. I mean, the holes are aligned just right and it does fit. In fact, we used a couple of different ones and the Arasaka mount, uh, we did a lot of testing with it and it just makes it really close to the rifle. So I really like having that ability to do scout mount, but yet you have a Picatinny rail option right here that comes with the light. So you're able to right out of the box, go ahead and attach it to your rifle. And guys, also, like we talked about, you do get a pressure pad switch. Now, one thing that Olight has been criticized for in the past is that it's a magnetic mount. And so, you know, guys, this could just come off at any time. So it just pops off. With the new system, 
push down and it locks and I mean it locks in solid pull out and it'll actually just pull right off and the pressure pad doesn't really matter where you hit it I mean it just comes on really easily this fits to any Picatinny rail section and you get a couple of small zip ties now guys, there are a lot of different type mounts out there on the market, these little Picatinny rail sections. There's a ton of different choices. It's a lot better than having the different rings that go around the flashlight, and then you add it on, and then trying to figure out a way to put on a pressure pad or a tail switch. And so this really helps to get this light really close. Now, one thing I want to show you, this is one of the Scout mounts. It is an Arasaka mount, and it just fits perfectly right here and then you just put your screws in and then this is a key mod set so you can put it on but of course obviously they have m lock and a lot of other things and so this is a great way to get it really close to your rail system and that's one of the beautiful things about the scout mount but again guys there is a ton of different options for these and we did a thousand round test just with this mount now this has two different settings uh, there's no strobe or no sos it's just straight up light and if you press this softly, it's a 300 lumen light, which is really bright, but for a weapons light, you know, this would be fine for inside the house. But then if you deep press, now we got low press here. If we deep press, we have 2000 lumens. I mean, that is incredibly bright. And so, in fact, it is the brightest weapons light out on the market. The Surefire Scout is 1500 lumens, and this is the dual fuel model. But a lot of that has to do with the battery, and the 5,000 milliamp battery really ups the game on this. One of the 21700 rechargeable batteries. And with this recharging cable, it will charge up to 2 amps, and so it's really a fast charge. The runtime on 300 lumens is 8 hours. I mean, that is phenomenal. Now, for the 2,000 lumens, it'll go 2 minutes with 2,000 and then drop down to 1,000, because guys, this does get really hot. And it'll stay at 1,000 for 9 minutes. Then it drops down to 760 lumens. It'll go for 125 minutes, which is 2 hours. And then it'll drop down to 300 lumens for about 24 minutes. So when you're on the turbo setting, it'll drop down incrementally. And that really saves the electronics inside the light, keeps it from burning out. But again, guys, just on the 300 lumens, you have 8 hours. And that is incredible. Now it has a metal tail switch, which is going to save from the rubber boot getting worn out. And then you have these little steps on either side to keep it from just inadvertently coming on. But yet, even with a gloved hand, you can get it through here and turn that light on. Here you can see the neutral white LED. Uh, it is a PMMA optical lens, uh, which is just optimal for putting out light transmission. And it does have a smooth reflector. And it does have a crenulated bezel. There's not a lot of texturing on the light, but there doesn't need to be because this is a dedicated weapons light. It weighs 7.62 ounces with the battery. Uh, it's, the head is 1.14 inches, and then it drops down to 1.5 inches. And the length is 5.37 inches. It does have a hard anodized finish. Uh, it's really well done. I mean, it's a beautiful light. These hold up very well. I, again, guys, I've been using Olight for a number of years, and a lot of the lights that I have from the original, which this has been improved, uh, is still just really holding up, and they look great. Now, guys, I'm going to show the Desert Sand, but honestly, I think they're, these are limited edition. There's only like 8,000 made, and these will sell quickly uh, right up front. So if you're interested in the Desert Sand, I would not wait. Uh, it does have the black bezel, but everything else is the same. It just has your color here that's, that matches the desert sand and even your pressure pad switch. Same thing. <laughs> Guys, that thing's locked in. Guys, I want to demonstrate how the mount fits. And of course, we have a BCM recce here, but it does have the key mod. Uh, with the light, you just want to loosen these screws right here with the provided wrench. Or you can use your own. And then you can just attach it right to the Picatinny rail. And then we just screw this down. Uh, there is some Loctite applied to these screws. And these screws have been upgraded from some of the originals. Uh, and this really held up well for us. Once you get it on, just put your light into the slot. And it goes right in without having to press on your quick release. And guys, it is a solid, solid mount. And again, we can take and just lock it. That locks that light in solid.
we've already got our pressure pad switch installed. Take it, lock it, and you're good to go. Anywhere you touch this pad, it's going to go off. I mean, it's going to activate the light. Uh, there's no sweet spot. It's just everywhere. In fact, I can just barely get it right there. Now, if you'll notice, I'm press and release. But if I just press and release, it stays on. But if I just hold it for a second, it'll cut off momentarily like this. This is actually a rubberized piece right here that actually fits into the Picatinny rail. So you just line it up and then push it over and it locks in and it's solid. Now with any mount like this, you're going to come out just a little bit. You have your Picatinny section, but again, if you want to use the scalp mount, it will fit close. We just take it, put it on top, and now we have a different position. Guys, here we are with the Odin. We're at 300 lumens. That fence is about 25 yards out. I'm going to go ahead and deep click it to get that turbo. <laughs> and you can see that makes quite a bit of difference. Got a little bit of rain coming in but uh, definitely a nice bright light. This has kind of a daylight setting. It's a little bit warm. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna bring out my Scout, uh, Surefire Scout, and you can see it's more of a white light, a little bit more of a blue hint to it, whereas the Olight comes in more at a true color. And it's a little bit more of a rounded hot spot. So you have 2000 lumens on the right, and then you have 1500 lumens with the Surefire Scout. And this is the dual fuel model. Guys, here we are with the Odin. And this is at the low setting at 300, going all the way to the top of the hill. It's about 200 yards up there. And uh, guys, it's, it's hitting those reflectors all the way up and it's getting light up into that area. Now let's go to the 2000 lumens. And man, that makes a big difference. I mean, it is showing all the way up to the top of that hill. Then here, even with the trees, uh, with this tree line, you can see, man, that is really bright. Now we're going to bring the Surefire Scout out. 1,000 lumens. Not a bad light. Uh, it's a little bit more of a spill, a little bit more of a flood around the light, whereas the Odin has a little more of a hot spot. And again, you're getting that 2,000 lumens compared to 1,500 lumens. All right, here we've got the field, and um, it's brightening up pretty decent on the 300 lumens. I'm gonna go ahead and hard press. Now we've got the 2000 lumens. And guys, you can see, I mean, it is really nice and bright out in that field, and yet it still has that hot spot. I wanna thank Fioki for this ammunition. Makes things a lot easier. And Red Rock Sign Works also makes it much easier. So Olight got in touch with me and they said, we want to see how this performs. I was not the only one to test this light, but after putting 3,000 rounds through this light with multiple shooters, we didn't have any malfunctions. That was on the AR-15 at 5.56, but also with a AR-10 in 308, And it just held up extremely well. The one issue that we did have on the second 1,000 round torture test was that the screws that were in the mount did come loose. Not the light, but just the screws in the mount. Uh, we showed that to Olight and they upgraded the screws and applied Loctite to them. And so, and also there's an extra set of screws as well. But guys, I'm telling you, this light is capable. But that wasn't the only part of our torture test. Now the Olight is IPX8, which means it's waterproof and dustproof uh, up to two meters of water. And also, it is impact resistant up to one and a half meters. Submersion test complete.
Drop test complete. This is a post, it's not a tree. And the Odin wins again. And the Odin defeats the Hummer. At this point, I think it could defeat Thor's hammer. And guys, the price is right. I mean, $159.95, and that includes the tail switch and the pressure pad, which comes in at about half of what it would cost you for the Surefire Scout. And you get a 10% discount using Suit00 with the link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link, and we really appreciate Olight for sending these lights for this test and evaluation. So guys, if you've been looking for a really solid rifle light that is very versatile, guys, it'll fit the Scout system, which really gives you a lot of options. It also comes with a pressure pad switch and for the limited edition Desert Sand Color. Guys, again, it is the most powerful rifle light out on the market at 2,000 lumens, 300 meters of throw. Price is right at $159.95, including the tail switch, and it is rechargeable. And then the limited edition Desert Sand. And guys, these won't last long. I can promise you that. Now guys, to be fair, I'm a big fan of the Surefire Scout. Uh, the DF Dual Fuel is a tremendous light. They're built like tanks. They're trusted by law enforcement and military. And I like those lights. But with the increased 500 lumens, with the Odin, uh, with the durability of the Odin, uh, with the price of the Odin, and that's really big. I mean, you can outfit two Odins for the price that you would for a Surefire Scout, especially when you start adding any kind of accessories. And so, and then too, the ease of recharging is so much better on the Olight. In fact, there is no one that comes close to the recharging capability with the Olight lights. So guys, if you love Surefire, stick with it. They're great lights. But if you want to upgrade, go to the Odin. It's definitely an incredible light. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. The new Odin weapon light, the new Odin light, the new Odin's weapon, uh, and it's 2,205, this is 22,000, and this does fit to any picky, and this picky teeny, picky teeny, and here we have Felix coming up, <laughs> he's a tough guy, he likes to eat hair, I'm using Such00 with the link down below in the description, I'm not sure that's it, I don't even know if that's right.